Welcome back, everyone. It's now time for the Eye of the Beholder. Let's do it. Ooh, I wonder if it's Maria. Did Maria break the seal and release the thing? I get people putting the blues here. Like nobody, no. It's not. There's not anybody here. You all set? Let's go. Join forces with William and Mumio. Oh man! So we got a we got a regular old party. This is gonna be a three-way gangbang. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna pop all of. Actually, you know what? I might as well. I might as well, right? Just use it all. Get them delicious levels. Then I'll keep the small ones in case I need to, to pull out uh, what's it called? Like if I die and I'm like, oh, I really need... Oh, oh you know what? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 10,000 short. Oh, well, whatever. We'll be fine. God, what the fuck is this? It's going to be a longer mission than I thought. Hey, what's that? Regular archers don't cut it? Let us introduce you to non-stop Massive fucking yokai. That item. Yeah, you happy with that? Didn't even give me anything useful. Just a regular old blue sphere. A little ripped off there, little dude.
hell? Can't drop down that way. Who's the one that's creating all the goddamn darkness? I just want to end the darkness. What the fuck? These are like, these are like the cages that Kelly was in. Where the guy is that's generating this. I don't go that way. I don't go that way. Oh, wait, I came from this way. Okay, this was the way I was going, so I just killed them. guys go beat his ass. something above me and it's mad. This was not open before. Oh, 
know what? I need some stuff. There you go. That's for you, friend. going after Maria. I can't believe she's she's the one that's causing all this shit. It's crazy. Tell you what, you need to farm. This is the place to go. God damn. William. You just don't like you, bitch. actually fighting Maria with three people like I mean she's a hard fight but that's a bit overkill yo they cannot let this guy just rest oh my god This dude's like, oh, a body for me. So he rotates through them all. No. 
Get him, monkey man! Get him, Yatsudo Kami! I'm gonna die if I don't get this thing off. Quick change. Slashed it and it was over. God damn it. Now that I know what to expect, though, you're going down. I'm going super hard Kusari Gama at the start. Just beat the shit out of him. gear baby let's go oh i love that color green oh man that's right i am the inheritor of the power
So I think it's looking at like all the people throughout history who wielded the sword, maybe. Finally back to your senses, now that you've died twice, and been brought back from the dead twice? But isn't Hideyoshi a traitor and a... Gotcha, bitch! Looks like you're off the mark. Good job, William. めんどくかけたな。で、あやかしになったご気分は体はどこもおかしくない。そいつはこっちに聞いてくれよ。な、ひどのじ。うん、man. <笑> Oh, so I guess William did hook up with the uh, waifu from the first game, because that's her bunny. We're going yokai hunting. Let's talk about it. Um, first off, 10 out of 10. 10 out of fucking 10. This may be my game of 2020. Like, this this was... I loved everything about this. Um, the, like, oh, God, I don't even know, like, where to start. This is just so good. Um, hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull audio. The, the music's a bit loud. There we go. I'll knock it down a pinch. So... To start, um, the combat was just as tight as the first Neo, but once you really got used to the yokai burst and the yokai abilities and all that, it felt like it fit in supernaturally. Like there were a lot of encounters where if it was a Neo one encounter, you know, your go to would have been like, oh, better just pop living weapon. Like anytime you were overwhelmed in the original Neo, it was just stop oh, living weapon. It was just an oh shit button. And now your your demon form didn't last nearly as long like you popped your demon form you were maybe taking out one or two guys if that um you'd rely a lot more on your yokai abilities which made it a lot more tactical and i think kind of uh it, it forced you to think about your decisions so i thought that was an awesome approach especially because of the flexibility with how many different um you know how many different abilities there are i thought that was awesome uh moving on into story I really like this story. Uh, the first one, you know, was there was like a little bit of history going on and then a little bit of, of kind of their own thing going on. And as opposed to that, this time there was still a lot of their own thing going on, but I like that they stayed a lot closer to history. Like 
You know, in, in reality, William was basically a sailor. He wasn't a, a yokai slaying dude, but he didn't do much more than sailing. I don't think he ever actually like got into fighting. Um, but so the make your own protagonist and kind of how he ties into the story as like someone that was in Hideyoshi's shadow and, and kind of followed him along and all that. I thought that was really cool, especially when you look at how they tied it into the characters from the first one. Like given this was a prequel, a lot of times prequels, prequels aren't usually that good. Like I feel like most of the time when you get prequels, there's like a nod here and there to, to other characters. But this had just real natural connections, it felt like. Um, and on top of that, I really liked how come Endgame, it was like what would have been an epilogue was essentially a wrap up like, hey, here's the shit that would have went down after all the DLC and the original Neo. I like that because we really got to it felt like it closed the chapter um, on to music and audio. Uh, Audio was was just the same. A lot of things like the the scampus, the scampus sounded absolutely adorable. I loved how the scampus sound. Um, the combat sounds were all great. The sound of the loot drop dropping was great. And music this time, while it's not like Dark Souls levels of music, I think they ramped it up. There were were quite a few times where um, the music like really really fit the environment, and I think they did a good job there. Which moving on to the environment, damn man, levels this time, oh my god, like there was so much verticality in some of the levels that it was just, it, it was confusing at points. <laughs> like that the temple one where I was like going up and down the temple, and uh, god, this temples, so many temples. I'm gonna have temples in my dreams for weeks from now. But all in all, I really liked the level design this time. It felt like they added a lot more just like, you know, climbing up into the castle and areas that were outside of the castle. Um, a lot of spots where there was like, you know, underground tunnels that you could take. And more than anything, I feel like the level of freedom given to the player in terms of how to explore a level, like there, there was, you know, almost two different approaches you could take to get through any level depending on if you wanted to tackle dark realms or not which i thought was really a really cool approach to see because you know usually it's like especially in neo one there was very much like a standard path you went and you'd get shortcuts and i feel that that was drastically improved upon here um let's move into some more gameplay features like like quality of life type stuff um so to start removing of reforging and just making tempering the new standard fucking a plus move absolutely loved that they did that because let's be honest who wants to sit and forge and forge and forge and forge like in the original neo i almost never dealt with uh with forging at all uh, on my initial run just because it simply wasn't worth the money and on the flip side this time around being able to break down gear into umbersite and roll for specific things you know like i mean obviously not specific but you know one in three chance I was, I mean, hell, every 10 levels, I was like making a new set of armor and uh, and tempering on the stuff. Like, I can't wait to see how well it works in Endgame now that it's like, you know, hey, we got Divines, we got, you know, even higher tier armor site. Let's really pull it all together. Uh, so big quality of life change there. Um, I liked all the, the, the dojo was great. Because, I mean, God, so many times in games like this, like, I mean, given given the Souls likes are generally more adventure, you know, you want to be able to test your shit, especially someone that's like a max men person. You need to be able to test. And having the training dojo is amazing because I can test. Um, a lot of the, the bosses that we fought had like one off missions. So you could refight those bosses, which is great for for farming up your um farming up your your different thingies your uh smithing texts so that's nice um the uh the hut actually was something that grew on me quite a bit i mean you don't spend a ton of time there but i really liked that we essentially had like a built-in encyclopedia that gave info on all the guardian spirits all the yokais all the characters, all the, the the stuff in the story, you know, like anytime I was like, hang on, who's that person again? After the mission, I was able to, to go back in and look and figure out who that person was by going to the hut. Um, I mean, God, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. This, this game blew me away. Like, oh man, I'm so happy. I remember playing the alpha and back in the, in the alpha, I was like, I don't know what's going on here, but this, 
this just feels like the alpha felt like it was just a, a DLC to the original Neo. And then once it really like once you see the final product, like, holy shit. I mean, like the core of it is still there. It's still Neo. It has that tight combat. It has that loot grind loop. But there was so much extra depth added between the new level design, the, the new combat mechanics with the three different forms and yokai abilities and all that. Just the, the little changes here and there, like the blacksmith and the dojo and just goddamn fantastic game. Dream within a dream. Oh, man. We need to set out and prevent the seeds of war from being sown. Let's get going, Hitty. Takimaru. Oh, what? Does this summon up the swords? That's badass. He tried to do this ability, and I, like I killed him right as he was trying to get it off. Uh, yeah, put that on. I will gladly replace Tentacle Storm with that. That is badass. Super badass. I might have to go refarm him just to boost this thing up to uh, to rank nine. Uh, the following options has been unlocked within the hut menu. Builds. Level sinks can now be applied to all Dream of the Samurai missions. The Dream of the Strong has been unlocked. In this mode, the difficulty of missions is further increased, but so is the strength of equipment you receive. You can change modes. Okay, so yeah, new game plus. Wait, so level sync? Hold on. So if my understanding here is correct, let me just let me just start a mission real fast. I think every mission is now synced to my level which means I should be able to farm gear that is my level, regardless of what mission I'm in. I just need to find like one, one thing to kill. Pain soul core items. All right, that's the one I just got. Let's go see. Uh, sort by newest. No, level thirty-seven, huh? So there's somewhere I gotta I gotta put the setting on. Anyway, um, there's a couple side missions, so we're not completely done, but we're gonna wrap this one on up. I'm gonna figure out some stuff, and I will probably see you guys for at least one more episode before we close out the let's play.